Hello, my name is George Hune, founder and president of Data Machines. This spreadsheet has been designed to let you quickly rank a set of projects using a multi-criteria decision analysis system that uses something called the multi-attribute utility model. Don't worry, you don't need to know about that in order to use the spreadsheet. I have included a link on the page that will show you a video that will explain more about that if you're interested. When you open the spreadsheet, go to the bottom tabs and click on the PPM Simple Ranking tab to open the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet consists of two sections. The first section contains the attributes. Attributes are the qualities that you're going to use to compare each project. In the example portfolio shown, these attributes are things such as net present value, or NPV, cost, probability of success, and so forth. At the bottom of the spreadsheet is where you'll list the projects that you're going to be ranking. In this example, these projects include standardizing the hardware, streamlining design systems, improving collaboration systems, and so forth. Now we're going to discuss each section in a bit more detail. In the attribute section, each attribute has four associated pieces of data. The attribute name, the weight of the attribute, the best outcome, the worst outcome, and the curve factor. The attribute name, of course, can be whatever you want it to be. The attribute weight indicates the relative importance of that attribute to your project ranking. Thus, when ranking the projects, all other things being equal, the project with the higher NPV will have the higher rank. Attribute weights are relative to each other. So, for example, an attribute with a weight of 5,000 will have five times more influence in the project ranking than an attribute with a weight of 1,000. Similarly, an attribute with a weight of 6,000 will have twice the influence of an attribute with a weight of 3,000. Notice that when we change the weight of an attribute, the relative value of the projects changes as well. So you can see the relationship between attribute weight and project ranking. The best outcome and worst outcome columns specify the relationship between the best outcome and worst outcome for each attribute. For example, a project with an NPV of 80 would have the highest amount of value to us, whereas a project with an NPV of 20 would have virtually no value to us. Similarly, a project with a cost of 10, a low-cost project, would have the highest attribute value for cost, whereas a project with a cost of 60, an expensive project, would have virtually no value to us. It is important that you enter these values such that your project values fall between the best and worst outcome values, otherwise the calculations will be incorrect. The curve factor is simply a way to adjust the curve of the utility function. Setting it at a value of 1 simply indicates a straight line relationship between the best outcome and worst outcome. So if your worst outcome is 1 and your best outcome is 10, then a project with a value of 5 would give you exactly 50% of your value, hence the straight line linear relationship. For this simple model, I would not recommend playing with that and just work with the simple straight line relationships. Now we move to the project section. Here there is a list of projects the relative value for each project based on your attribute weights, and the assigned project values. Notice that each attribute that is listed above is automatically entered into one of the columns in this section. And notice too that each project has a value associated with each attribute. In order for the spreadsheet to rank the projects correctly, each project must have a value for each attribute that is within the corresponding best and worst outcomes specified in the attribute section above. Now, just as when we change the attribute weights, the project rankings changed, when you change the attribute value for an individual project, its rankings will change too, as you would expect. For example, if we lower the NPV for the Improved Collaboration Systems project, the relative value of that project drops. If we restore it to its original value, the relative value of that project goes back up. Similarly, if we raise the cost of the project, its relative ranking goes down, and if we restore it, the relative ranking goes back up. So there you have it. The attributes define what you're going to use to compare your projects, and their weights describe the importance of each attribute to the project ranking. And the project attribute values determine the project ranking depending on the attribute weight. Because this is a spreadsheet program, it is very limited in the type of modeling that you can do for a portfolio. I would highly recommend that you try OPSI, our Project Portfolio Prioritization and Optimization System. Actually, it's much easier to use than a spreadsheet. For example, all the attributes are entered into a single form that you can see here. You could modify each attribute simply by double-clicking on the row to open the attribute form. 
Not only do you see all of the attribute data, but you can also fine-tune the relationship between the best outcome and the worst outcome by using different line types and adjusting those lines. It's all menu-driven, and it's very easy. You can also easily set up discontinuous attributes using labels and text to define preferences such as geographical locations, colors, excellent, good, fair, or poor, etc. Unlike the spreadsheet, all of the attributes automatically resort themselves based on their assigned weights. Projects are stored in portfolio forms. You can easily sort the portfolio by any column simply by clicking on it. You can modify a project by simply double-clicking on that project line to open the project in a project form. Once you make the project is automatically ranked in the portfolio. You can also query, sort, and create subset portfolios very easily. So even if you're looking just to rank a few projects in a simple portfolio, you should really consider trying the OPSI free trial instead of the spreadsheet. You'll get all the features that you just saw and much, much more. And it's really easy to do. Simply go to our homepage at www.datamachines.com, click on the free trial button and sign up. I'll personally arrange for a free one-hour training so you can see exactly how what we just talked about works and ask any questions that you have. Then, you can try OPSI for yourself for free in your business with full support for 30 days. It just may be the best investment of an hour of your time that you'll make this year. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the spreadsheet, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you.